Hello, I am Jude and this is Chris. And together we are Ready, Ready Steady, Steady Websites. Website. I did not know he was going to sing <laughs> that. Um, so today we are answering the question, when I am creating a website, do I need a domain name and hosting? Oh, is that my turn? Yes. Okay. Uh, so the answer is possibly. Um, Really, you should have a domain name. So we would say a domain name is pretty much 100% you need a domain name. And you should own it. Yes. Um, some services will let you set up a site without a domain name. But really, if you're doing anything anything professional, you're going to want to have a, a domain name. So a domain name is something like readysaywebsites.com. Uh, we always recommend also getting your name as well and your children's names as well, like we've done when they were born. I registered their uh, names as the domain name address. As everyone does in the yeah, first few yeah, weeks of having a new do. baby. Yeah. Uh, in terms of hosting, that's very different because uh, it depends what you're doing in terms of your website. So if you're using WordPress and you're using the self-hosted version of WordPress, because there's two versions, just to be confusing, then if you're using the self-hosted version, then you're going to want to be hosting your website on something. So yes, you would need hosting in that aspect. If you're using something that's more of a SaaS platform, so a software as a service platform like Squarespace, Wix, Weebly, Kajabi, Kartra, anything like that, they'll provide the hosting for you. They normally provide a temporary domain name as well, but it won't be something that is you know in your ownership. It'll be something like readysteady.kajabi.com or something. So you really want to have that domain name um, secured as well. And that can also affect what you decide to call your business or, you know. Um, some other things where if you can't find the domain name, it's it's like a good idea to have like a we are at the beginning. So for example, our, our design company is wearesecondfloor.com because secondfloor.com wasn't available. And also there's lots of different endings. So the TLD, the ending of it, the .com, there's lots of different endings you can try. So if you can't find a .com, you can look for .co's. Uh, there's also .co.uk as well, .org. So it depends on the kind of thing that you're doing. So have a look around. There's loads and loads and loads of those kind of end domains now. So chances are you'll be able to find a domain name that suits you. Absolutely. So go away, go search for your domain name. Make sure you grab it and own it if it's out there. And have fun creating your website. Cheers. <laughs>